What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics, and you guys already know what it is. Today, I'm back with a brand new video, 10 free agents that the Buffalo Bills must target this offseason. Let's get right into it. So before I actually start talking about the free agents themselves, let's go over the positions of need that the Buffalo Bills need to address this offseason. So at number one, I have offensive tackle. Deion Dawkins kind of had an off year and Jordan Mills did not have a good year at right tackle. So they need to address that offensive tackle position, especially the right tackle position. Second, no surprise, wide receiver. Bills have not had a great wide receiver for a very long time. And this offseason, they need to make sure that they either draft one or they acquire one. Third, interior offensive line. Definitely need a better center and a better right guard. And hopefully Wyatt Teller can improve his run blocking because his pass blocking is actually pretty good. Fourth, I have tight end. Charles Clay did not have a good year and he was pretty much injured. And Jason Kroom, I think, led the team, I think, with about 259 yards. I don't know if that's actually 100% accurate, but I think he only had, like, three or four touchdowns, maybe. I don't know. It, he did not have a good year, and you need more from your tight end position. At five, I have defensive tackle. This is no surprise after Kyle Williams uh, retired, and with us lacking that number one defensive tackle. Sixth, I have running back because LaShawn McCoy and Chris Ivory are getting up there in age, and it might be time to uh, look to draft or acquire one in free agency. And for seven, I have outside linebacker, and this one is just because Zoe is getting old, uh, and this is probably going to be his last year if he resigns in Buffalo. So I think that getting his replacement and learning uh, would be huge for this offseason. Now, note the Buffalo Bills do have $84 million to spend uh, in 2019. So we got some we got some cap space for sure. Now, without any further introduction, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start with offense and let's get into wide receivers. So this is probably the biggest name that you'll hear. Golden Tate. He's 30 years old, 5'10", 197 pounds. He's been with the Eagles, and he's been with the Lions, he's been with the Seahawks, so hopefully he can come to Buffalo now. Philadelphia has negative cap space for next year, so they're gonna have to get rid of some guys. With them having Alshon Jeffrey and Nelson Aguilar, they're probably gonna move on from him, most likely, and he's not gonna get re-signed. Bills need that number one wide receiver, so they could definitely look to pay him some money. Next up, I have Devin Funches, the Carolina wide receiver. He's 24 years old, six foot four, 230 pounds. Now, I definitely think he's going to hit free agency because Carolina does not have a lot of cap space and they already kind of have their number one wide receiver in DJ Moore. Also, Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean were there when he got drafted in the second round uh, by the Carolina Panthers. So that connection might get him to Buffalo. Now, moving on to running backs, I got Jay Ajayi. He's 25 years old, six foot, 223 pounds. Now again, Philadelphia has negative cap space for next year. They can't re-sign him. He also only played four games this past season, and Buffalo loves to give injured players decent contracts, so I definitely think he might want to come to Buffalo, especially knowing that Gase is now in New York, and he might seek revenge against his former team. That would give him four opportunities to take revenge against his former team and his former head coach. Now moving on, this one's an interesting one. Tight end. I have one tight end. Tyler Eifert of the Cincinnati Bengals. He's 28 years old, six foot six, 225 pounds. Now they might resign him because their tight end situation isn't too good themselves. They got a good amount of cap space, but he did get injured and he's kind of had that problem, so they might want to release him. Now, the Bills might take a risk, and they might say, hey, this guy, if he can stay healthy, he might be a huge acquisition for us, and they could definitely go that route. Next up, the biggest problem that the Bills have, offensive line. So kicking off, I have the right tackle out of Miami, Jawan James. He's 26 years old, 6'6", six six, and 318 pounds. And simply, he's going to make free agency because Miami doesn't have enough cap space, I think, to pay him. Next up, I have the right tackle out of New England, Trent Brown. He's 25 years old, 6 foot 8, 380 pounds. He is a big boy. Also, I think he's definitely going to hit free agency because the left tackle and the right tackle are pretty much uh, there and they already got him signed up. 
uh, in New England, so I don't think they're even going to think about paying Trent Brown, even though he did have a pretty good year. Um, I think they'll let him go in free agency. My third and final right tackle is uh, one that you've probably already seen before, Daryl Williams out of Carolina. He's 26 years old, six foot six, 330 pounds. Now, he might resign with the team because their tackle situation is not very good right now. Now, he did get injured next season, which is why they could move on from him, but two seasons ago, he graded as a PFF All-Pro, so they might think about resigning him there, but again, he might hit free agency. My final offensive lineman is the center out of Denver, Matt Paradis. He's 29 years old, six foot three, 300 pounds. Now, I would love to have a Kent Hole to my Jim Kelly, a Matt Paradis to my Josh Allen if you catch my drift. He graded as the highest interior offensive lineman per PFF this past season. However, Denver is kind of standing in the way at that point, and they have $37 million. They are definitely going to probably look to re-sign him, and if they can't, hopefully he falls right into our lap. Now moving to the defensive side of the ball, so at defensive tackle, I have Sheldon Richardson out of Minnesota. He's 28 years old, 6 foot 3, 295 pounds. Now, to put it simple, yes, he's going to hit free agency. Why? Because Minnesota does not have a lot of cap space to spend this next year. They have a stacked D-line already, and he's going to be way too expensive for them. Now, the reason why it makes sense is because Buffalo needs that number one defensive tackle to fill the void, to fill that spot of Kyle Williams after he uh, has officially retired from the Buffalo Bills. Now, my 10th and final free agent is the outside linebacker out of Minnesota. Anthony Barr. He's 26 years old, 6 foot 5, 255 pounds. I also think he's going to definitely hit free agency because Minnesota spent too much money last year and two seasons ago where they don't have enough money to spend uh, this season. They won't be able to re-sign him. He's going to be way too expensive and he could definitely help us out. Um, I think to, to take Zoe's spot, I love Zoe, uh, but he's getting up there in age and they might say, hey, look, we got the money. Let's just have a great defense and, and help Josh Allen, which makes a lot of sense if you ask me. But that's going to pretty much do it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment your opinions. Let me know if there's any free agents that I missed uh, that you guys are really looking that the Bills sign. Uh, is there anybody else out there that uh, could really help us out? Put it in the comments down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, please go down and hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I know all the other Buffalo fanatics uh, would love for you guys to do that as well and help to grow that subscriber account. But with that being said, I'm going to get out of here, but go Bills, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.